Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on September the 22nd. Uh, taking this reading and really applying it to quadrant living and acknowledging when we are in the mode of trust, we are in the kingdom. And when we are in the mode of worry, we are in the culture. And in that, in trust, we have belief. Uh, in this one, it talks about hope and light. And when we drift into the culture, we are filled with unbelief, worry, and darkness. And you guys, this is a choice. The external circumstance does not need to determine our internal state of being. We have the power to connect our mind to the heart. We are tethered directly to our creator and savior. It is all a matter of shifting our perspective. We're going to drift, but we know our anchor and we know our source. And so determining where I am uh, again, in this brain train, who's the conductor of the brain train? Is it the ego? Is it the culture? Am I driving toward fear and doubt and worry and anxiety, regret, remorse, blame and shame? Or is it going to be the conductor of the brain train being the fruits of the spirit, bringing hope and light, solution oriented? I am your strength and I am your song. Um so this ability of our mind that God gave us this gift, and he says, don't misuse it in anticipation of the future. Again, heaven is not an external state of an external destination. It is an internal state of being. This is the ability to be in this world and not of this world, to have this peace, to have this light, to have this hope, and then walk out in this culture and be the light that we want to see in this world. Uh, the first reading is Exodus chapter 15, verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. Exodus, what an amazing time in the Bible when God is changing the actual physical terrain of these people. And they say, this still is the God of my father and I will exalt him. He is my strength and my song in the midst of all uncertainty. The second reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ, the conductor of the brain train. Um, that is what that one is all about. It's capturing every thought as it's drifting. Is it going toward the culture? Is it going toward worry, doubt? Is it going too far out into the future for controlling and planning? Droop. Bring it back. Make it obedient to Christ. Bring it home into the present moment, trusting, belief, hope, and light. And the final reading is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Hope, faith, love. That is the blessing. Those are my takeaways for today. Capturing ourselves in this brain train. Are we in the mode of trust? Are we in the mode of worry? Are we too far out into the future? Do we need to bring ourselves back into the present moment? Adam was not the only one in the Bible where Jesus called out. I mean, where God called out and said, where are you? It's going to be several times throughout the Bible. And I realize it's also with Elijah. So I'm going to kind of continue on this journey of where are you? And the relevance of that in our journey of self-awareness. So y'all just, I thank you so much for joining me on this journey and this amazing transformation and level of awareness our Heavenly Father is working us all through. If this was beneficial to you, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're noticing changes in you to bring encouragement to others. And let's bring in a lot of people on this transformation. It is such a peaceful aha, like no blame, no shame, none of that. We're here for the fun. We're here just to be a light and be a joy, bring that light and bring peace, be an anchor. There's so much chaos and uncertainty in our culture, but we can be that source of calm. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, protect the crown, protect your thought life. You are worthy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.